Hi, welcome to mathforallgrades.com videos. In today's video, I am going to explain the concept denoted by factorial of a number n. Let us proceed. Consider for example 4 factorial. If you have watched mathforallgrades.com videos on denotation of factorial, then you will recall that 4 factorial is the product of all the consecutive integers from 1 to 4 and this product value is equal to 24. Now we will take up an example to understand what this 24 means, what does 4 factorial stand for and in general what factorial denotes as a concept. Okay, let's go on. Consider a simple task that is there are four persons denoted by the four letters A, B, C, D who must be arranged in four chairs. So the task is in four chairs four people can be arranged or seated in how many ways? In simple how many seating arrangements of four persons denoted by A, B, C, D can be done in four chairs. Let's go on. In the first chair, any one of the four persons can be asked to sit. So we say there are four ways of filling up the first chair. So write four in the first blank. The blank denotes a, a seat or a chair. So after one of the four persons has taken seat in the first chair, in the for the second chair, how many are left? It is three. So any one of the remaining three persons can be seated in the next chair. So the two chairs by the four people can be filled up in four into three ways. Right? Multiplication according to the fundamental rule of counting which you have watched in another one of our videos. Now, for the third chair, how many people are left? Only two. And in the last chair, only one person is, uh, for the last chair, one person is available. That can be filled in one way. So the total number of ways in which the four persons can be made to sit in the four chairs is this product, which is nothing but 4 factorial expansion. So 4 factorial can be understood in one way as the number of arrangements that can be made of 4 people made to sit in 4 places. Or in short and simple factorial denotes arrangements of objects. So if you say 4 people A, B, C, D can be seated in four places in four factorial ways. It means you are able to make so many number of seating arrangements or in general simply arrangements. Four factorial is equal to 24. So 24 arrangements of the four different letters A, B, C, D can be made. Arrangements is just another word for permutations. So you can also write 24 permutations can be made of four different letters A, B, C, D by taking them all in every arrangement. Now this is somewhat theoretical and abstract. Let me make it more concrete and practical by writing down all the 24 arrangements that will come, that will result by arranging the four people in the four chairs. Let us do it like this. Starting with A always, how many arrangements can be made? Starting with A always, how many arrangements can be made? Arrange the four letters alphabetically in all possible ways with A always occupying the first place. So these are six arrangements that you can possibly make. 
with A fixed in the first place in all of these arrangements. So with A starting, how many arrangements of the four different letters A, B, C, D can be made? So many, six in number. Similarly, with the B always beginning, with the C always beginning, with the D always beginning, how many arrangements can be made? Six, 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 six with each starting the arrangements. In this way, the total number of arrangements that you can make out of the four different letters A, B, C, D is 24. That is what we got more directly, easily and shortly from factorial. So, if you, under, if you hear the word 24 arrangements of the four letters A, B, C, D, then these are the arrangements that you should bring to your mind. This is what you should imagine, conceptualize. Okay. So, now we will take up an important condition in arrangements of the four letters. If you observe, as a letter, <coughs> if you observe, as a letter, A can repeat. If you treat A, B, C, D as letters, which they are, instead of using them for denoting persons, if you treat A, B, C, D as letters, then as a letter, you can repeat A any number of times in one same arrangement. These are called arrangements including repetitions of objects. Arrangements or permutations including repetitions of objects are denotes repetitions. But factorial of a number will give you the list of arrangements which can be made only without repetitions. This is an implicit condition which exists in factorial. In case arrangements of these four letters including repetitions have to be made, then you can see that in the second place all of the four objects can be written earlier after one person sat here, that person cannot sit in the other places. So one by one, the number of objects reduced by one for the subsequent places. But when you treat A, B, C, D as letters, instead of using them for denoting people and including repetitions, then every blank can be filled by all the four objects in this way including repetitions, so many number of arrangements can be made. So this is what factorial of a number n denotes. In one word, you should remember factorial as arrangements or permutations, especially with the condition that the arrangements will be made without repetitions, as you can see here. This is what factorial denotes. Thank you for watching this video. Keep watching mathforallgrades.com videos. See you again in another video. Bye.